Good evening, YouTubers. Reloading Bench back with you once again. And this is a very special box because inside this box contains um, an item that uh, I last saw the last week of September of 2022. In fact, I believe I published the video on this particular item September 25th. So this is my 1918 Colt 1911 Black Army Edition. And I will show some pictures probably right about now of what this particular uh, Colt looked like prior to sending it off to our friends at Turnbull. So I'm calling today Turnbull Tuesday. Uh, it is in fact a Tuesday and this arrived uh, to my local gun shop uh, because I originally sent it from my gun shop insured, heavily insured, to Turnbull because that was when uh, a whole bunch of stuff was going down around UPS and FedEx where as an individual citizen you could not send a handgun via UPS or FedEx. They changed all their rules. And uh, it cost quite a bit of money to go to my FFL and have them send it. Uh, uh, again, and what bumped up the cost was the insurance. And when, uh, when I sent this off, our folks at Turnbull took a few weeks, I want to say maybe five, four, five, six weeks, to send me the estimate of the work. And this was not my first go around with Turnbull. So I knew what was I, I was in store for. I knew what was ahead. Uh, I would get the quote, I'd look it over and I'd say yay or nay, uh, to which I said yay. And uh, that was, gosh, uh, so I'm gonna say late September sent it. Maybe uh, October, late October, early November was uh, when I got the quote. And uh, they said uh, the work would take 12 to 14 weeks once it began. And it wouldn't begin until around eight or 10 months from, you know, when, uh, when they gave me the quote or when I uh, approved the quote. <clears throat> so I did the mental math and I'm like, okay, maybe it's a next Christmas, Christmas of 2023 kind of uh, surprise. Well, it didn't work out that way. Um, here we are, second week of uh, 2024. So, you know, my updates that I got from Turnbull, uh, they requested a deposit of uh, $950 to start the work in uh, late June. And they said uh, the work is scheduled for a start in the July, August timeframe. No date in July, August, just July, August. So I did the mental math saying, you know, best case, July 1st, worst case, you know, September 1st. So September, October, November, December, January. So again, not terrible, um, but uh, it took 62 weeks from when I sent it to when I received it. Uh, again, uh, considering the work Tur Turnbull does, the uh, number of people that work there, uh, I don't believe it's a large staff, and then the quality of the work that they do, uh, I'm a firm believer in you get what you pay for. So this is uh, the second unboxing because obviously my FFL had to uh, log it and then release it. So uh, inside the box obviously was my paperwork and I'll call this a very expensive sticker. It's like a $3,000 sticker. Um, you know, Turnbull, an introduction to the work they do. God, I can't imagine. That's probably a $15,000 job right there. That's that's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that's stunning. Nobody does color case hardening. And I believe, and that's freaking gorgeous too right there. That's that's very similar to what you're going to see in a minute, but uh, this is not a Black Army finish. Um, nobody does the work that Turnbull does. And there are, there are haters out there as well. I remember when I was uh, contemplating doing this, um, and, uh, okay, uh, thank you for choosing Turbo. It's our pleasure to serve you. Cleaning and oiling, 
full wood, use of solvents, don't use any solvents, aggressive degreasers on the outside, uh, case colors, uh, charcoal bluing, rust bluing, nitrate bluing, storage, so they don't, they don't talk about uh, um, the Black Army finish. Uh, so I'll read through this later, but it's basically care and feeding of uh, the restored. So again, this is a 1918 Black Army uh, Colt 1911. So this is uh, 106 years old. And what they ended up doing, uh, here's my, uh, uh, my invoice uh, of all the items that they touched uh, and, and the expense, uh, disassemble and clean. Uh, uh, barrel provide a fit period provide and fit a period correct 1911 barrel uh, again there were issues with this gun this is why it was a donator uh, a a donor a donator a donor gun that you know somebody's going to have issues with saying oh bro you 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 destroyed the provenance uh, that was you know again uh, my intent for this was to find a beat up and again, you saw it in the pictures, and you can watch last two years ago, year and a half ago's video. Uh, you can see the condition of the firearm. It was not in great condition. Uh, polish. That was the most expensive part of the service. Uh, polish, frame, slide, and parts to period correct. Uh, the markings, restore original markings to receiver and parts. The Black Army finish, uh, and as well as the magazine. Uh, the grips, black walnut, double diamond, hand checkered, Colt pattern, nice. Assembly, oil grease, reassemble, uh, minus my deposit, and I did pay for uh, additional insurance to have it shipped back to me. Uh, Turnbull, as a default, uh, will insure the firearm for a hundred, excuse me, a thousand dollars, and. Uh, in my opinion, this firearm is no longer worth a thousand dollars. The you know the work alone that they did was m multiples of that, so uh, I opted to have it insured uh, for five thousand dollars. So um, these are the packets that came uh, with it, and uh, obviously we know what this one is. So let's do a pseudo unbagging. Um, let's start with the small stuff. So these are the original parts. So this was the original barrel. So if you, uh, original barrel, some springs, these look like grip screws and grip bushings. So not too many replacement parts, which is good news because uh, that would have just been uh, all that more expensive uh, on the replacement on than this particular rear sight. So uh, I'll have to go back and look at the video to see what the front and uh, I knew I knew the rear sight was kind of janky. Um, <laughs> it's well oiled. Now this stuff's in uh, great shape. All right, so so much for that. Get that out of the way. Uh, this would be my uh, magazine, the two toning of the magazine, which will go back into the frame of the gun momentarily. Yeah, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty. All right, here's the good stuff. Let me get a towel. Hands all greasy, greasy. And that is a very, that's going to probably go down as my most expensive gun rug. And I'm going to cover up uh, part of the serial number. Because I think the only thing you need to see is the fact that it's still the same 491-ish and the model of 1911 U.S. Army 
the period correct rear, period correct front, uh, even the correct stampings. The I believe that's an H with a P part of it. Uh, the M on top, all of the Black Army uh, markings. Uh, this is just stunning. This is a great example of you get exactly uh, what you pay for. The, the finish, and I'm sure that the camera is not picking up how beautiful this finish actually is when you look at the detail of the polish i mean it's just it's it's jaw dropping uh, gorgeous in fact uh, the lint i'm getting on it from my cleaning rag is disappointing but uh everything from the every part of the firearm has been reworked um Again, every single part of it, just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. All the original roll marks. Very tight gun. Very, very tight gun. lanyard but when you look at the finish of of what they did compared to what they had to start with uh, again uh, please look at the pictures that I show up on the video closely at the beginning of the video because um, that that is just um, and I will oil this and it's going to go in the safe and this is uh, this is an heirloom safe queen so you I, I can't say it enough you get what you pay for uh, funny story and I don't remember if I covered this in the original video back in September of uh, 22 but um, when I was in my local shop talking about you know finding a, a donor firearm to send a Turnbull to have them make it look new again and yep, double hearts uh, you can't see you probably can't see it um, but that's one of the telltale signs of a black army is the heart shaped inserts on the grip but uh, when I was in my sh local gun shop, the same shop that I picked this up from uh, when it was delivered uh, from Turnbull, the, uh, the conversation was, you know, oh, I'm going to find a, a, a pretty beat up 1911 and send it to Turnbull and uh, have it uh, restored. And the conversation that occurred was, oh, we have a, we have a buddy who's a big Colt fan and he's not a fan of the work Turnbull does. And I've had a couple of rest restorations through Turnbull, and I am a fan of the work that Turnbull does. So I was uh, quite surprised, uh, you know, to hear that. Um, but, you know, it, you know it, it, it is what it is. So um, they were saying that, oh, uh, our, our cult fan, our cult fanatic, uh, has a local shop that does great work and here's their name and number. So I thought well, I'll give them a call So I gave them a call and I said hey, I've got a 1918 black army Colt 1911 that uh, I'd like restored and When he said yeah, we can parkerize that I'm like no, no, I, I'm looking for a black army finish He's like yeah, they all came parkerized and I thought okay, you're you're not a restoration shop. You're you're a uh, finish. You're you're just going to do a quick finish on uh, my particular uh, firearm. So uh, thanks, but no thanks. And uh, and off to Turnbull it went. So uh, this is now back. Uh, it will go into the safe as a safe queen uh, on display, and uh, I will put a nice uh, thin sheen of. Uh, 
probably some uh, CLP on there, and uh, it will sit in the safe, uh, and it is not going to get uh, used and abused. So um, this is a Keeper uh, family heirloom, and uh, they did just a phenomenal, phenomenal job. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and I'm hoping the video, the hope the camera can pick that up. Uh, just stunning when you, again, look at the pictures of before and now uh, after. Uh, just absolutely stunning. So uh, not a process that takes a long time, but a process that takes a long time because of the queue. Um, uh, again, I'm going to say it's you know, 15 to 20 week process, depending on you know how it makes it through the channel, and uh, and such, and then uh, gets back into the owner's hands. But uh, this is uh, that's a stunning, stunning piece of work from uh, our friends at Turnbull. In fact, uh, this will probably be the uh, the thumbnail shot of uh, the Turnbull restoration. So we bring this to a close after, uh, what, 62 weeks or something? Uh, no, it's more than 62 weeks. Uh, September to September would have been 52. Uh, October, November, December, 4, 8, 12, 52, uh, plus 12, 64, 66 weeks. So I'm going to say 66 weeks to uh, to do this restore and bring it back to uh, the condition that it rolled off the uh, the factory uh, as close to as possible 106 years ago. So this is an oldie and a goodie. Take care, folks.